Got another past exam question on the electrophilic addition mechanism, but this one is all about major and minor products. Woo! Okay, so we've got compound A, it's reacting with hydrogen bromide to form a mixture of two different organic products. The first thing we've got to do is draw the structures of the two possible organic products. So we'll just quickly talk about why there's two possible products. So remember, in when alkenes react, the pi bond of the double bond breaks, and the atoms of the reacting molecule, so hydrogen and bromine, will add across the double bond. So because this is unsymmetrical, then it's different if the hydrogen bonds on the left and the bromine on the right to the other way around. Okay, so we'll move on to the mechanism now. So the question just asks us for the formation of one of the organic products. I'm going to do both because some people will have done one, some people will have done the other but it'll help explain the last bit where we've got to say which of the two organic products is more likely to be formed. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is this hydrogen bromide molecule, and it's going to add this way around because of the where the dipole is. So slightly positive on the hydrogen, slightly negative on the bromine, because bromine's more electronegative than hydrogen. So what's going to happen, the pi electron pair is going to be attracted to that slightly positive hydrogen. So we show that with that curly arrow. Just make sure your curly arrow starts in the middle of that bond. And the other thing that happens is the pair of electrons in the HBr bond, they are completely repelled onto that bromine. And it's going to break that covalent bond by heterolytic fission. So the hydrogen's forming a covalent bond with one of these carbons. So I'll put the hydrogen on that carbon, this side, on that carbon, this side. So that produces these carbocation intermediates and the bromide ions. And all we need to do now is bond the bromide ion to the carbon plus. So we take a curly arrow from the lone pair on the bromide ion to the C plus. So there's our two final products. So all we've got to do now is explain which of the two products is more likely to be formed. Well, it all depends on the, the stability, the relative stability of these carbocations. Okay, so this carbocation here on the left is what we call a tertiary carbocation. That's because the carbon with the positive charge is bonded to three carbons directly. This carbocation is a secondary carbocation because the carbon with a positive charge is only bonded to two. So the next thing we've got to think about is which is more stable. That's the tertiary one. So all I need to do now is turn that into an answer that's going to get me all the marks. So that's what I would write there. I draw the structure of the product and say that is the major product because it forms from a more stable tertiary carbocation intermediate.